Hey guys, in this video, I'll be talking about one of the most important settings, if not the most important setting in Fortnite and on release and debate on whether you should have it on or off. The reason why I'm making this video is because I've been playing with add-on release on for about two years and I've recently switched to off about a month ago. When I was deciding whether to switch or not, I couldn't find a good video to help me make that decision, so I'm making this so you guys can have that video. I hope this helps you and with that being said, let's begin the video. First I'll talk about what is add-on release. Having add-on release on means on an edit, the moment you let go of your select button, which on keyboard and mouse is left click and on control is your right trigger, it will confirm automatically without clicking any other button. Having edit on release off means after selecting an edit, you have to click a button to confirm the edit you have just selected. Now let's look into the pros and cons about edit on release. The pros with having edit on release on are that you will edit much faster compared to having it off because you don't have to click another button to confirm an edit. Also, if you don't grind Fortnite and don't practice your edits as much, putting on edit on release on is a reliable way to have quick edits without having to play much. Also, if you have slow fingers and reaction time, or if you're an older player, having edit on release is a huge help because of how it automatically confirms without the need of flicking another button. Another good thing is that it makes edit timing so much easier and faster since you only have to click one button compared to having to click two. Now for the cons of having edit on release on. First con is your peaks will be much worse, which is the main negative about it. The reason why is because you can't properly either hide your body and not get hit behind a peak or have your crosshair aligned with the person you're doing the peak on which means you have to flick so you don't know where your opponent is or you miss a huge shot because of that bad crosshair placement that add-on release makes you do one peaks. I'll show you an example later on to the video of a peak with add-on release on and off so stay tuned for that but another huge con of add-on release on is many people who have it on don't think before doing an edit. When I had it on I did the same thing and most of my edits were pointless and as soon as I let go of an edit it would confirm. I would either take a huge chunk of damage or die because I always did a bad edit. Now for the pros of add-on release off. First of all, like I mentioned before, the con of having add-on release is the peaks, but for having it off, it's just the complete opposite. Performing peaks on players with add-on release off is so much easier and consistent compared to having add-on release. The reason why, which is another pro of having add-on release off, is that you can confirm whenever you want. This helps in so many ways like when you're doing peaks because you can confirm once your crosshair is placed on the player. It also helps so you don't make a bad edit and confirm it. You can also readjust yourself and look wherever and however you want because you don't have to hold the edit down so it doesn't confirm automatically which makes edit on release off more consistent which in turn helps you guys a lot in fights. Now for the cons of edit on release off. First thing is that you're going to edit slower. You can obviously edit fast with it but in general it's slower than having edit on release on. Another thing is that when you have edit on release off you have to play and practice more because it's harder to maintain fast editing with edit on release off compared to having it on. And like I said before, if you're an older player, it can be more challenging to click another button while editing. Okay, I'm going to show you guys an in-game example on how add-on release on and off can affect your peaks. So first, we're going to start with add-on release on. So basically, you have to hold the edit or if you let go, it'll just automatically confirm. So that's the bad thing with peaks because with peaks, you want to position yourself so you won't be actually in the peak and you'll be able to get shot by the person. So you want to position yourself. And one thing is that you want to keep your crosshair on the person because you're probably going to shoot them after if you're doing a peek on them. So, but the thing about this is that you can't do that because you have to look awkwardly like this. And when you move to the side, like I just, I just confirmed the window edit. I want to do a window peek, but I have to look like this and I have to flip to the left. It's just very awkward instead of just being able to edit automatically just looking at the bot. But if I wanted to try to do that, I would have to go like this. And I can't do that, obviously. But I think I don't release on worse affects the peanut butter edit because you have to look all the way up and do this if you want to actually have a decent peanut butter of it. And the thing is that you'd be saying, oh, I could just go like this. But then again, you're just in the open. So from his perspective, he can probably still shoot you. Now I just turned off add on release and I'm gonna show you guys how much better it is. So let's say I want to do a window edit on the spot. I could just look at him like this, click the edit and I'm not holding it. I can look wherever I want. I can go over here and it'll still have the top selected. And then I can go over here and I can actually have a good peek, you see? Because my crosshair is already on the bot. We'll try this again, you see? My aim is so much better and consistent. Instead of having to look over here and then flip to the left, I can just look at the bot and automatically hit those max pumps. And the peanut butter edit is just so much more cleaner because look, I just hold it here. Or if I want it to be closer, I could just go like this. Like it's just so much more consistent and cleaner when you have add-on release off. Now that we went through all the pros and cons of add-on release on and off, let's answer the big question on whether you should play with it off or on. If you're a creative player, casual, or somebody who doesn't take the game as serious, add-on release on is perfect for you. Or if you're an older player, or if you're somebody who just wants to edit fast, make montages, and try to be flashy with their edits, it's also good. 
Now, if you're a player who is passionate or plays a lot of competitive, then having add-on release off is way better. The reason why is because in high-level lobbies or in tournaments, you will benefit more from having add-on release off, which is the main reason why 90% of pros have it off. If you're a higher ping player, having add-on release off also helps. Since you're on high ping, you can't edit fast to begin with, so at least being able to control those edits will help a lot. I have around 40 ping on central servers, so this gave me more reason to make the switch to add-on release off. Also, if you're a player who plays off peaks or peace control, and on release off is way better for that as well. Just know if you play with it off, make sure you're using a good confirm button that is comfortable and easy to access because it will make you edit way faster. Last thing I want to let you guys know is that either is good and you can go pro on both, you just have to play and revolve your playstyle around it and if you do it correctly and master it, you can get good, make earnings or even go pro. Now for my one month experience from going from add on release on to off. I'm a control player and I believe I'm a fast editor. I was on edit on release and I realized when I was playing ranked that my peaks were bad and it started messing me up in tournaments, also when an edit will automatically confirm. So I made a decision to switch to off because of that reason. And also because I was bored of Fortnite at the time. One thing that most people do when they first switch is quit after a couple hours or days. I didn't want to be that person so I committed no matter how hard it was because I knew it would be worth it. I mainly practiced editing tunnels, maps that have repetitive edits because I needed that muscle memory to develop the skill. A month later, I can say that it was worth it and I feel like a better player than I was on item release on. Remember, it may vary for you guys depending on what you play, but that was my experience as a person who plays a lot of competitive games. With that being said, it's the end of the video guys. I hope it helped you make a decision on which one you want to play. If you haven't already left a like and subscribe, it will be very much appreciated. And if you can use my code JVBeam in the item shop, it will be very much appreciated as well. I'm thinking about starting to live stream on YouTube. So if you guys are down to see that, comment down if you guys would actually watch because I really feel like I should start streaming. I really want to talk to you guys and interact with you guys. So uh, stay tuned for that. Also, leave a comment on what you want to see next and I'll see y'all in the next video.